holy water. Holy water. Shlana. this. This is a cross made of barbed wire. My symbol was made for me by a very special relative. Oh yeah, I gotta take the um, the tuner off. The snark, because it makes musicians snarky if you leave your snark on your nice guitar, your Martin guitar. This is a nice guitar. It's too nice for me. I'm not worthy. It's a beautiful guitar because when it ages, this black finish is going, and it already is, it, it's kind of soaking in and then rubbing off, <clears throat> and it's going to show a little bit of the wood. Um, it's going to age gorgeously, this um, Martin guitar. I'm really glad the um, when I was trying out guitars, I was trying out some other guitars, and um, I'm a little bit loud and annoying. <laughs> when you're loud and annoying, you know what they do at the music store? Little tip. They put you in the Holy of Holies. When I um, went in to choose this guitar, I was going for a more expensive guitar than my my beautiful mahogany baby, and um, they put me in the holy of holies. They put me off in this back room that was like heaven. I was surrounded by beautiful carpets and these gorgeous, glistening, wonderful, amazing guitars, old and used, um, a lot of used ones and, and newer ones, and they were gorgeous and they were very expensive, um, a lot of money, several thousands, tens of thousands of dollars, and they had to stick me back there because for me, I wasn't worthy of the Holy of Holies, that, that great, gleaming, wonderful room with beautiful lighting and guitars with so much art embedded into them and gleaming at me from the walls and everywhere. And I was sitting there on a tree, basically, a beautiful polished golden bench made of a tree cut in half, and I was sitting on it. <coughs> and I was looking around, going, oh my gosh, I never want to leave this room. I'm surrounded by so much history and musicianship and potential and it was glowing at me. It was, I was in heaven. It's something I can never be and I didn't deserve to be there, but they put me there because I'm an annoying banshee. I'm kind of trollish in how I play and sing and they had to put me in there because they knew they were going to make some money off of me too because I was indicating a certain type of guitar that was so they were going to make some money so they put me in the holy of holies 
and they just kept bringing me guitars. And what I'd asked for, the guy didn't like, and so he he didn't tell me that, but he kept bringing me these other guitars. He was listening in on the side, and he was thinking about me. I could tell. And um, he started bringing what he thought I should have, and um, what would be better were um, fitting and um, just kind of durable, plain, um, like this. And I didn't believe it, but I picked it up for him, and I started doing it and playing around. And he went around the corner and left to go do his business, but I know he was listening. And he'd come back every couple of minutes, and he'd go, you know what? I got something else for you. <laughs> and he'd bring me another guitar. And this, he set this in front of me and I was like, yeah, I don't know if I want black and white, even though I love the contrast of black and white. I really love that in my life. And I look good in it too, stylistically. Black and white works amazing for me. It's like order. There's an order between black and white. It's that yin and that yang. And so I tried it and I was like, yeah, because I was used to my mahogany and it was a, a rougher sound and it was kind of smooth and I kept trying this and I kept feeling it. It's like, yeah, you know what? This is good. And I was sitting back there in the Holy of Holies, playing and singing, maybe for a couple hours. And I came out of there. <laughs> when I came out, I felt like it was glowing. I just felt good. And, um, a little embarrassed, too. But when I came out, he was looking at me and his face was bright red. Like, he was almost embarrassed. Like, maybe it was the Holy of Holies. Like, he had help, beheld or heard something, maybe, that he shouldn't have. That was private? I don't know. with the choice I had made. He was happy with that choice. I only buy guitars from this one guy. I make sure he's in. And I'm thinking about a banjo lately. And I don't like to buy from anyone else but him. I don't know if he gets a commission or not, but this guy, the reason I like him is I trust his music and his, his style and what he does and that he's reading me. He's reading and he's, he's not just up to make a sale, he's reading and he's going, ah, this is, this is what this person does? So this is their needs and this is what I'm going to give to them or try. I'm not going to tell them what they should have, but um, I'm going to kind of push it to them. <coughs> and another thing I like about the guy who sold me the guitar is his name. Joseph, I love that. Joseph. So
side note from the Holy of Holies and picking my tool, my weapon of annoyance. I wasn't feeling so great today so I spent some time trolling, watching videos, leaving comments. I trolled John Vervanke's troll and that troll was not happy with me. He'll probably come over here. That troll was very upset and said I was blowing my butt out. <laughs> and I laughed. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not supposed to feed the trolls. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna stop right here and do a video on trolls. I'm very interested in them. <laughs> and I shouldn't laugh. Exorcist. 